Good afternoon, people, or whatever you, you're viewing this. This is Optimus 45, and welcome to a brand new Transformers video, re video review. And yes, I'm, I actually bought a Transformer um, on Sunday. This is. I think it's now Monday. Depends when you're watching this. Um, I think I got whipped off on the price at Walmart. This, the Voyagers usually go for $19, like around $20. This video alone, I paid twenty-two dollars. I think that's a whip off. But maybe that's maybe what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Tell me what you think. But here's the figure, and why not? Let's look at the packaging. So you got Pretty King on the side, which is pretty cool. I really don't know if I really want to pick him up yet. I'm still iffy on that. He comes with iron pulsing cannons or launchers. And it's Beast Hunters Optimus Prime. Then you have a good thing. You have his tech specs, his bio, if you really want to read it. Uh, another picture of Prime. And then the predatory product shots. He has iron pulse of launchers. Launchers attack to both modes and Saw Saber included in Purgatory Power Shots. The missiles are supposed to be green, but they are not. Transformers Prime, join the Collector Club, which I'm thinking about doing soon. Predator King, top of the box. Let's look at the figure. So, here's Prime. He is an awesome figure. I don't know why. But I love beefy Transformers, especially the Primes. Um, just to do a little size comparison, here's the Voyager Prime, not the first edition, and the new Prime. So yeah. <laughs> um, somehow I'm going with this one and this one. Um, but I like this new one better. He comes with his weapons. Victory product shots. This is supposed to be green, which it isn't, but it's okay. It's supposed to be some kind of bow gun or a capturing device, because it comes with two. Um, these do fire, which I don't... Okay, they shoot pretty good. So, that's good. Um, they could store on the side of his wings, or you could just leave them off on the side. He comes with a Star Saber, which I actually do like. I mean, it's a decent sword. Um, he can't fly, which is normal with, normal with some Optimus. Let's float it out. Float like this, and... Guessing it's supposed to be like that. So... This is a top shot. That's what it's supposed to look like. Then you put these boosters on it and make him fly, whatever. Um, I do agree with some people, the rubbing on plastic onto hard plastic with the um, connectors. But so far mine's fine. The only problem I've been having is this wheel well is not the pig that's supposed to connect Wait, there is sometimes coming undone, and this likes to come undone too. So that's it. Now, Transformers figure is actually somehow I like it. Um, I really don't know. We can start with this top. So you untap the wings, and then lift them up like so. Lift up this whole back piece. And just leave it like that. Yeah. Then, if you all notice, he's pretty much his legs are right here and his arms are here, and that's your chest. So you just take the arms, untab them. Now, if you start untabbing everything, everything just comes apart. So I'm trying to keep. Oh, no, squirt. Just bring down the legs. So, 
And then his feet is fine. The only thing you just do is go underneath and bring out his big heels. Like so. Now his legs are completed. Come up to the top. God, I could do that. <laughs> Take these arms and separate them. And there is is mirrors become will become the tabs and they go right to that. Now this arm has trouble pegging in. Oh, it's fun. You just bring them in and then Oh yeah you can't. In fact, I'm missing a step. So you take his wheel wells and you fold them. While you do that you bring these bits down. Fold them together and there is a you can't tell, but there's they just peg together like so. And then this is weird. This will come down. It will rotate around, and that's it. So you just pretty much take this piece and rotate it. And then come and lift his head up. And it'll just click in place. Then you just take the arms and just peg them into place. Rotate them. Get everything ready. And now, when you first get it out of the box, I mistransform him for a reason. Because there's was this is what it's like when you out when you get a mount box. What you do is lift this up. You can bind these together, and then yeah. Um, you bring this all the way up. Make sure these are all the way up, and it will just rest in place like that. And then you just take the wings, and I'll, I can't show you guys well because of my light. But there is, well, there's two tabs right there that the wing will just connect right to. It's like so. You can't be dying already, camera, really. So, here you go, there's Prime. Um, things down. So, this Prime. Um, I love this figure. Um, yeah, I'm going to be saying I'm alone because I'm allowed to. He is an awesome figure. Well, I'll talk about him, I'll transform the other guy. He's just... A prime that I actually like. He's beefy. He's awesome. He looks cool. I did that transformation wrong. Well, he feels different. I mean, plastic quality may feel weird. <coughs> oh, there goes his leg. But this figure, I do like. For some pure reason, this figure is like working for me. Um, what else can I talk about this figure be once I get this guy done transforming? I mean, I could edit this out, but I really don't want to. Um, his ball joints. I mean, this figure has ball joints on his knees. He doesn't, which is an improvement, and I'll talk about that too. I think this figure is a great improvement on the um, East Bay Mission upgrade, which I like. I don't know what Haswell did, but I do like it. I love that. Um, he does have a new head mold, too. I'll get into that, too. Take 
Did it? Nope, I got that right. Rotate you around, collapse you in. And yeah, that's it. Okay. So for a size comparison, if he could stand. And to my belief, he's actually taller than this prime. Which is weird. But somehow, I digging this one more than this guy. I mean, to him, he had the powerized, the weaponized gimmick blaster and sword. He still sticks with the sword, but he gets blasters. And what's also cool about him, now this is where all the positives are coming out of him with the exit. He has closed fists while he has open, so... He can hold the sword, but this one grips better. You can see it goes right in. And the other thing you can see, he's just falling over. He has cool, awesome joints. Um, put him right there. So possibility on Optimus is head rotates all around. Um, the bad thing is it's on a swivel joint. His is on a bull joint. And we can show you the head too. You can see the head is menacing. Um, now these you could pose any way you want. Arms uh, can rotate all the way around, which is cool. You hear that? That's what I miss in most Transformers: ratchet joints. He he did not have he doesn't have that. This guy does. Um, bends at the elbow, uh, rotates, and fist rotates. Wrist does not rotate, rotates, bends, but no ratchet joint. He's winning me over as of right now. The other thing that he's winning me over that this guy doesn't have, He has a hip rotation. Oh my god! A hip rotation. Fail. Yes, here's what you're actually winning me over as right now. Um, another cool thing no bull joints. This is actually a, um, a, pin, a pin and socket joint, please. So, that's cool. Another cool thing. Ratchet joints, yes, I'm actually orgasm. <laughs> um, which is cool. And he actually rotates at the knee, and his feet has some possibility. And now, he does win me over. The only thing that does win me over with this one is these are on a bull joint, so you can actually move it. But these aren't. I mean, there's, these are sort of on bull on ratchets, but they're not. But. And you can notice that that's a lighter blue. This is all darker. He's pretty much red, a really dark blue, some um, silver, gray, green. And another cool thing is this guy could fly and the other one can't. So this one's probably going to get a 10 out of 10. That one's... I have no clue. Um, but this guy is awesome. He can't hold his guns. Uh, you could do it this way. Like in the box, you could... Do both them like that. Or, which is coming to the other problem. I actually could probably give him a 9.5. Just because if you put these in these holes right here, be aware, which is probably going to keep in the rest of the view, which I'm actually not going to do it, but I'm actually stress marking these holes, which is weird. Um, you can't see it right now, but it's actually stress marking it. And the only cool thing is, take the wings, pull them out. Prime could fly. Then you come to the back. I think. Yeah. Pull them out. 
And then you put these boosters like so. And time's going to fly. That's just awesome. Uh, you can store a sword. Um, there's right in the vehicle mode. You can support, support, store it right there. Um, this guy's just an awesome figure. I do recommend it if you guys don't have him. Just be careful if you're spending twenty-two dollars or any more. So it sucks. But if you had to get one of these figures, he's the one you would go for. Better posability, uh, better of staying together than this guy. And the transformation is a lot more easier, and this one's like, you gotta twist the arms, and you gotta do this, and that, and... Guess just get the first edition if you... If you had to choose between this and the first edition, go for the first edition. If you had to choose between this and the new one, go with this one. But, that's it. Um, this is up... Actually, it has to be fine. This is why I have a problem with this one. This one is actually staying on good. But this one, I think you can see it. Yeah. It's actually not attaching, it's actually pushing it. But anyway, um, you could almost do a double wheel sword. It's close. I'm just, I'm just going to have that like that. Anyway, this is Artist 4 or 5. And I'll see you guys next time for another video review. See you guys next time.